that one first. <laughs> what I what I would bring uh, as a board member, I think a rather important change that needs to be done is respect for one another. Amen. That's the first thing. Lead by example. That means that if we want our students uh, to respect the teachers and staff, then as parents, when we come to board meetings, we have to learn how to be respectable in our presentation of questions. You sit in the board, uh, board meetings and they have the students perform first and you get less enthusiasm with applauding the students than you do when somebody uh, almost curse out somebody on the board. So we, we need to change that. That's the first thing. Let's lead by example. That's what I would do. Okay. Okay. If I could change one thing, I think it would be to reevaluate re and look at the middle school and, um, and possibly break those that, that age group up and put them back in the community-based schools and, and maybe make the middle school early childhood. Um, I think that when I went to school, Jackson, the different schools went from kindergarten to eighth grade. And I believe it kept us out of trouble. Um, you know, because your friends, ooh, you gonna do that? Ooh, you gonna, you know, and, and you were less inclined. And then to throw kids together, I think at that age, uh, it's just too much pressure. And, and, and it was, I believe the first games that happened in Hempstead were a result of the middle school, the paybacks and the uh, You know what I mean? We, we put all of those kids together. You know, some of y'all don't remember, but a lot of y'all do. Put all of those kids together and, and you feared for your safety. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, you, you know, now we left Jackson and you were with the same people from kindergarten to the eighth grade and now you're in this one big school and so you broke it down into little gangs to protect each other. And I think if you change it back to the, you know, the smaller, smaller amount of kids at Jackson, Franklin, Fountain, we did intramural sports. We, you know, bus from one school to the other. You know, Jackson's always the best. <laughs> All right, Franklin sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. But you know, it was it was fun to go and interact with those kids and meet other people. You felt like, you know, you were experiencing something different. And um, I think that that might help. One of my biggest things is, is, is getting the community and the parents involved. The same way we have this room filled up tonight because it's a debate and we are concerned about who's going to uh, be elected for the school board because we're tired of what we're tired of. I believe this room needs to be filled up just like this at a regular board meeting. Furthermore, I believe that we need to by getting our parents and our community involved, we can move from this room and maybe go to the cafeteria. And as we continue to grow and, and, and gain the trust of our parents in the community, we can go into the auditorium. I think that it's so important that, it's, that we have to get our parents and the community back involved with our school district. Okay. 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 Okay.